All right, Glitch presents herself in your office as ordered, standing at something that passes for attention. What's up, Commander? According to the logs, you haven't been using the lounge lately. You, yet according to eyewitness reports, you have been. What's going on? Glitch sighs. The XO had Dr. Murad install that bioscanner on the lounge door. Remember? So she could restrict troublemakers? Well, it doesn't work for me. I get locked out every time. A quick call to the engineer confirms Glitch's reports. It's very vexing. 50,000 install an alternative access system for Glitch. Um, how about a different kind of scanner, you suggest? Say, a voice print? Glitch brightens? Dr. Murad sounds dubious. You want me to set up a whole new system for this? Keep them both. Let the pilots use whatever works. It's either this or removing the scanners entirely. Doctor, what would you prefer? Dr. Murad sighs. I'll get started converting the algorithms. Glitch has gained uh, high spirits for 30 days. This is very good for us. Because we're going to send her down to Chinatown. We're almost completely out of cash. We're getting low on sea bills. Yeah, yeah. We're always lo getting low on sea bills. Okay, so um, I think we take out Decker and put in Medusa for the time being. We also take out the Battlemaster and swap in the Awesome. Seems good. Uh, I am pretty cool with this. What is that one passive? Won't let me look at the passives. Okay, well, whatever. I'm sure there's a good reason to keep that, but... Do a pause. Alright, let's do this. Command interface initiated. Panzer is in desperate shape, Commander. Famine is a fact of life here, and the Torians have targeted the spaceport we've been using to deliver emergency supplies. As we speak, the Torians have several waves of APCs, complete with battle mech escorts, en route to the spaceport's command center. If they succeed in taking it, they'll lock down our supply ships, and the people of Panzer will starve. The spaceport's turrets are down, and House Decimus is in no position to repel an attack of this magnitude. It's on us to stop them. You will defend the spaceport against the Torians and prevent their tra troop transport from reaching the command center. They're likely to send a detachment for our wounded as well, Commander. If you can spare a mech or two, please consider sending them to protect our barracks. We've suffered too many casualties to defend ourselves. The Torians have been hitting us hard, Commander. The second is nearly gone, but I do have a few non-combatant personnel left under my command, and we'll do what we can to defend the restoration. If you can stop all of the Torian APCs from reaching the command center, my people will get the spaceport's turrets up and running for you. I'm afraid that we won't be able to make a move if any of them get through, though. I just don't have the numbers to go up against Torian Marines in a ground fight. Best of luck. Well, this sounds nightmarish. Stop those transports, Commander. You're the only one who can. Um, not sure. I guess I have to assume they're coming from this general direction over here. Uh, but I want to send one person over here to protect this, so I guess... Who's the fastest? Probably the awesome. I hear ya. Maybe the annihilator. The annihilator wouldn't be bad, and glitch does have multi-hit, so we'll send we'll send the uh, annihilator up the road. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Um, that's our first vehicle, so it's a fifty-ton. Um, crab will move up a little bit, not too much. I just want to get as much vision as possible. On my way. Okay, we got three vehicles. Torians have just dropped a transport full of commandos. If they make it to our barracks, my injured soldiers are as good as dead. Please stop them if you can. I will try my best. Hostile on sensors. Okay, so most of... Uh-oh. Okay, we got a commando over there. Uh, Highlander is always the one that seems to take the damage. Somehow. 
Oh no, sorry, it's the battle master usually. Okay. So, so far I can't see anyone. Except for that commando, which is probably making it so that they can hit us. So let's uh, see if we can't stop that right away. got really good evasion right now let's uh let's hit it with the awesome i'm gonna precision sh shot this one so that i can potentially get a precision shot in the future one. Oh, cool three misses very good very very good okay um let's uh make our way up here okay we've got an another apc over here that sucks let's try and take out that one first On my way. let's just hit it with everything, Firing everything I've got. good that's one down There comes two more on the right side. Order. Uh, okay, so the only thing close is the awesome. So the awesome's gonna have to cover that right flank. I do want to take the stupid commando out. Should have hit it with a crab first, honestly. Missed with every single PPC. We did kill it though, somehow. Honestly, didn't expect to kill it. But the good news is that you shouldn't be able to hit us now. So this thing is getting pretty close. Waiting for orders. Gonna sprint over with the Highlander. So that we have a, a line of sight on it. And that way we can throw some uh, long range stuff. There's the other APC. It's getting kind of close. Annihilator should be able to take that thing out, no problem. Oh, they... How do they have line of sight on us? What what exactly is seeing us? Yeah, I, I don't get that, honestly. They shouldn't be able to see us. Okay, we'll back up and hit this APC from behind. Not with the UAC though. Doesn't have that much ammo, uh, armor in the back. In fact, we could probably take off another a AC. Got it. There we go. I feel bad about shooting the little guys. Wow, that thing's getting kind of close. Yeah, I know. Okay, let's get the awesome over there and try and uh, hit it. Why is it? Why does the PPC have such an awful chance of hitting? I guess maybe I'm too close, actually. I think that is actually it. So let's try and we'll try and hit it from behind. I want to maximize our chance of hitting this thing. I really don't want to uh, miss. Well, we missed. Awesome's really letting me down right now. So now we have to dedicate the crab to hitting it. PPCs are really not doing it for me right now. Really? So we're gonna have to dedicate three separate hits to killing this I mean, I'm, I'm actually worried that we're not gonna kill it with this
really don't think I should have to dedicate. Yeah, I figured the gauze rifle was enough, but I really, really didn't want to miss. Oh, God, really? Keep pushing them back. Show the Torians that we will never stop fighting. We got a mech moving in. I, I, I'm not yet even like getting close to that med bay. So that's a problem. These are mostly light mechs. There's 155, which I'm kind of worried about. Awesome just took some nasty hits from behind. My armor's getting ripped off. Okay, let's try and hit the PPC, the, the trebuchet with three PPCs. You really need to stop missing with even one of them. Uh, I forgot about this APC. Commander. Actually, uh, a melee hit might be the best thing to do. I'm pretty sure melee hits on these things are, are almost instant kills. Aye, aye. There we go. Reporting. Oh, God. Okay, uh, you, Glitch, you're gonna have to take that one. You betcha. Ninety-six percent chance of hitting that means we really shouldn't have to dedicate anything more than this. Roger that. Firing on target. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, try and hit this trebuchet. I'm gonna turn on the PPC. All not bad. We did knock it down. This is good. So there's only one APC and wherever it is, I'm not sure. As soon as we take it out though, we get a truckload of turrets. Oh, that is a lot of missiles. Oh god, that thing sucks so much. Glitch just took a head injury. Seeing another drop of a Torian APC. Okay, well it's right in front of us, so we should be able to take it out. No problem. What? Where? Exactly? Okay, um, we got a panther. That's not really a problem. The last, like, I really, I'm just want to take out that APC if I can. Um, let's move up with the crab. Try and take it out with the crab. We're going to overheat slightly. Uh, I'll take off one large laser, I suppose. Let's just go for full front because we have the best chance of hitting it. Perfect. So we're going to have our turrets back. That trebuchet gets to get back up, but it's also got a turret right in front of it. Okay, we've got uh, damage reduction there. Um, I could try and take out that carrier. I really kind of just want to get out of here, though, and move towards the uh, med bay. But I guess we can move up towards it and also take a shot on it. Okay, so we can start um, doing some actual damage. Can we do a jump up here? Yes. Jumping. Uh, got a PPC carrier. 
feel like that would be a better thing to hit. Yeah, it's got three PPCs. I don't trust like that. Roger. I know I didn't turn on the last LRM. I really didn't think I was going to need it, and I was correct. 85, 45. Okay, we can hit the trebuchet maybe three times with the PPCs. We finally hit something three times with the uh, PPCs. It didn't knock it over, though. All Torian APCs are down, Commander. Hold tight. We're bringing the turrets online now. This is good. But now they're already hitting the turrets. I guess that's good because it means they're not hitting us. But at the same time, what are these camera angles? Please, for the love of God, figure it out. <laughs> okay, that turret is almost dead. They're really cherry picking that one turret. Marines are closing in on the barracks. If they take it, our wounded soldiers will be slaughtered. Well, I'm doing my best. I don't really hold out a lot of hope, I'm being honest. Well, that's that turret dead. Commander? I'm actually just going to sprint because I don't want them to take out the med bay. This uh, gives us a line of sight on almost everything. Uh, we can do a multi-hit, so let's go ahead and do that. I do want to hit that um, Wolverine in the back there. I'm going to throw some missiles at that and um, try and kill something else. Like that trebuchet. So we'll do... Apparently I can hit that thing in the that Wolverine in the back with the PPC. So let's try this. Some really, really good hits on that Wolverine. We didn't kill the trebuchet, we did hit the head though. <laughs> I mean, we should just try and take something out. Let's just try and kill that trebuchet. Oh, yeah. Did we not hit with the gauze? Uh, I thought I shot with the gauze. Did I not shoot with the gauze? Yeah. I guess it doesn't matter. The pilot is dead. Okay, we're gonna rotate slightly and um, I guess I can't reach the Wolverine. I thought that that was line of sight on the Wolverine. Okay, well, never mind. We'll shoot on the Panther then. With Not bad. The stability damage on the PPC is nice, but it's, I was kind of hoping it would be very, like, almost enough to, to knock something over. You guys cannot. You really are gonna miss with a large laser. We got wheeled APCs. You've done it, Commander. Our people are safe thanks to you. We'll never forget what you've done for us today. Is that it? We just have to destroy what's left. The turrets are gonna are, are helping quite a bit. So I guess I didn't have to send a glitch up there. If the turrets were enough. There's like four things left to kill. They're mostly over here. Well, that's another turret destroyed. And that's another turret destroyed. Waiting for orders. 
Okay, let's, uh, we can absolutely destroy this Wolverine, and we will. And I'm not gonna be too merciful about this either. Um, we really need to be sparing with our heat. So I might just throw some, uh, LRMs at that Jenner. We don't need to do a, um, precision on this. Just gonna, just gonna do LRMs. Actually knock something off, expose something. Okay, uh... I don't have great odds of it. I don't know what it is with the, the PPCs, but they don't... Okay, this is better, but we are doing a precision strike, so I would hope it, it is better. There you go. Knock over. I think I hit something good. Not enough to take it out, but, you know, like... If we can do it while there's still a pilot left to run. Copy that. So now, how come the gauze rifle didn't fire... You missed. You seriously missed with the gauze rifle on a on a still target. You're gonna let the turret take this thing out. You did. You let the turret take it out. My God. <laughs> the turrets are probably gonna shred the Jenner. Mm, wow, the PPCs are doing really badly this <laughs> combat. Like, they have all missed consistently. That's that turret dead. We don't have line of sight on it. What are the commandos doing? Oh, hitting the annihilator, huh? You really gonna pick a fight with the annihilator? Good to go. Hey, buddy. Take it easy, huh? See ya. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, let's, uh, we got our, some heat back, so let's just destroy that Jenner. Done. You've done it. You've driven them off, and you've saved all of our lives. I'll see to it that this food gets distributed to the people who need it. See that you do, Lieutenant. You should know. I can't promise that they won't be back. Desperate times are nothing new to us, Lady Urano. Things have been grim since your uncle's coup, and we've made it this far. As long as you keep the supply shipments coming in, we'll find a way of holding out. You'll have our support as long as I can provide it. That's a promise. Mission successful. Cool beans. That wasn't even a super long mission. It was pretty fun. I, I definitely, uh, there was a couple of moments where I didn't think we were going to succeed, like with full full marks thought we were going to lose something but we did all right and we made a made a nice chunk of change okay um no one took any major damage no repairs are even necessary what do we get what do we want i guess i would take a jenner part to complete the jenner we have a large laser plus 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 that's a nice get um, we have two medium laser plus pluses. Got a lot of machine guns. We have one SRM six plus plus. Anything in here? <gasps> Yo, we got the TTS ballistic. What the heck did we break that off of? What the heck? Okay. Um, I do want that la large laser plus plus plus. But I think I could forego um, maybe a medium laser plus three accuracy. We're taking that TTS. No question. That is going on the Annihilator. Oh, that's such a good get. I'm really happy about that. 
Lady Arano, I'm looking at a coded message from Lady Centrella. She's reporting increased fleet movement around New Vandenberg. A half dozen Concord Navy dropships, complete with a fighter support. Her agents say that they're he headed our way. The situation is growing untenable. Even if we win every battle, attrition will inevitably take its toll. It'll grind us down to nothing. That does appear to be the situation. Nice input there, bud. Uh, I just had to choose what to spend our dwindling resources on. Emergency relief for half a dozen marginal colonies the Torians have hit, or fuel for our dropship fleet. I chose the fuel. If we can't move our troops, we can't keep fighting, and everything we've built falls apart. It sounds like you did what you had to do. That didn't make it any easier. In about three weeks, the casualty reports will start hitting my desk. I intend to study them, every line, every detail. I... The sword, the sword of restoration have just consigned those people to a gruesome fate. The least I can do is remember their names. My ancestors came from a place where life was even more tenuous than it is here in the Reach. You can't stop people from dying. Ugh. I know, believe me, I know. But I can keep myself from becoming jaded. I can remember the people whose lives were cut short, however much it hurts to do so. I can prevent myself from normalizing their deaths. You're pardoned, uh, Lady Arano, but we've got an encoded HPG transmission coming in. The point of origin is Goldra. I'm putting it on screen now. Kameo, I've got it. My family's insurance policy. I can't open the files from here, but considering the level of security they were hidden behind, there must be something wor here worth protecting. I'll be damned, something went right for a change. And now for the bad news. The directorate is on my tail. And they're, gra they're gaining. I'm still a couple of steps ahead of them for now, but I need evac as soon as you can provide it. My subdermal, subdermal transponder is active and broadcasting on restoration frequencies. Nothing can ever be easy, can it? I mean, not even once. I'll do my best to stay alive and on the run until you get here. Whatever happens, I won't let them get their hands on these files. They're the o only thing that matters now. I need to move Madeira out. Okay. Commander, set a course for Goldra. I'll be waiting for you there with the battle, my battle mech at the ready. Uh, we're going to get Alexander back and recover the evidence he gathered. We have to. The future of the restoration depends on it. Um, oh, we can do that right now, actually. We'll sell the Jenner. Yo, please. We don't need to do mech repairs. I don't know why you keep telling me that, Yang. My dude. Bud. Pal. Uh, let's have a quick look at our mech warriors. Have they got enough XP to level up? Yes, um, one does. Decker. Decker wasn't in that last mission, so he's at the same glitch. Can level up. Mandrake can level up. Tactics. Medusa can level up. Let's level up his gunnery. Confirm. Oh, did I not confirm any of that? Good to go. I didn't. <laughs> training confirmed, Commander. Mech warrior training complete. Okay, um, we don't need to do anything to the... Well, yeah, we do have to do something to the bays. We want to sell this Jenner, first of all. That's another chunk of change. And we want to... On the Annihilator, put that TTC... TTS on... I'm assuming it's going to be a ton. Yeah, one ton. So we'll have to take something off. I think we can afford to take off some ammo. We'll take off one ammo. And this is just good. There's nothing... There's honestly no reason not to do this. Um, is there any, have I gotten any, oh, we got a large laser that we could slap on the king crab. And maybe actually the king crab could do with some upgrades in general. Um, oh, I do have some AC-10s that might be better off on the annihilator. Let's take a large laser off and slap this one on. That's an upgrade. Uh...
What is an LRM 15 versus a 10? Yeah, okay, never mind. Uh, we have a PC PPC plus plus we could slap on here as well. So that's just an upgrade. Um, don't know if there's anything else. We could change the LRM 15 for 20. But then we take a small armor hit. I'm kind of happy with what we've got. We still could use some double heat uh, sinks right. for the crab. Crab. Um, not sure. I don't think we're going to bring in the Highlander for a bit. I could maybe improve the Battlemaster somewhat, but I don't think we're going to take the Battlemaster either. I don't know. Kind of iffy right now. Uh, let's forego crit damage for just increased damage. That is basically the only thing I can do. Um, I think everything else on here is fine. Okay. So what's left that could possibly use an upgrade? I guess maybe the awesome, but I don't think... The awesome is honestly as good as it's ever going to get. I, you know, in my opinion, I don't think that it can get much better. The Highlander has a small upgrade in its feature. Uh, we'll like give it another LRM 20. If we could find an LRM 20 plus plus plus, then that would be better. Um, I could maybe take off some stuff and put some lasers on, but I don't. I don't know if that would be worth it. I if I could find another gauze, that would be nice. But you know, good luck. I don't think that there's anything in the store for us. The stores have been getting better. They are better. If I could find some LB, that'd be kind of nice. I, I keep seeing ammo, but nothing else. All right, let's uh, make our way to the contract now that I've um, queued up some stuff. Oh, this is a three and a half stars. Ooh, okay, getting spicy. I do have a little bit of faith that the three and a half stars won't be nearly as vicious because they do kind of run a range, don't they? All right. While pacing through McBay on a sleepless night, you stumble across Medusa. He's fiddling with a stock auto cannon. A jumbled pile of loose metal and wire litters the deck plating around him. As you approach, Medusa looks up a sheepish grin on his face. Uh, hello, Commander. Okay, we know how this goes. Make him spend a week in the mech bay. You lose a AC plus 5, but you gain a AC 5 plus plus. Actually good. Medusa will be unavailable for 7 days. That's fine. We have 7 days roughly to go. Um, let's actually queue up some more upgrades. I'm going to go have a look at the Annihilator. I feel like the Annihilator is, has some upgrades that we can make. Maybe not, actually. We've got kind of amazing stuff on here. Yeah. We've already got a UA, uh, an AC++. So the best we could do is plus four accuracy. And actually, that's not bad. We could do stability. We've already got stability damage on everything. Just about everything has stability damage. Oh, this AC5++ does have plus two accuracy and plus 10 stability damage. So... That is actually better um, than, I think, than the 10 damage. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, 20. Yeah, we're doing, like, this is just, like, really, like, the Annihilator is very well set up. It's, it's mint, you know? It's got, it's got the chops. It's got the juice. It's a big old mech of corn, you know? All right, so we're here in Goldra. I don't know if we'll be taking uh, Medusa. I don't think we need to necessarily. We've got Decker. Let's proceed with our contract. 
we might have some story before we uh, drop down there. We're picking up a transmission on the Restoration Distress Frequency Commander. The time stamp is marked a couple of years, uh, sorry, hours ago. Years. It's from Lord Madeira. Kamea, by the time you receive this message, I'll have been captured. I've got hostiles closing in all around me as I'm recording this. I don't know how much time I have left. Listen, the evidence is hidden in a dead drop. It was the best I could do, given the circumstances. Go to my grandfather's monument. You remember, the place where we laid him to rest in the mountains. The directorate paved it over and built a structure right over the top of it. Look there and you'll find what you need. I can hear the sound of splintering hardwood. They're coming through the door and I'm out of time. I pray that I will see you again, but if I don't, I need you to win this war. Do whatever you have to do, just finish it. Not for me, but for the people. Goodbye. Image on the view screen cuts out. The only sound you can hear is the hiss of static. I'll start putting together a rescue team. Leave space for me. I'm coming with you. First we recover Alexander, then we focus on picking up the evidence and getting the hell off of Galdra. I've got Lord Madeira's subdermal transponder signal on my screen. They're moving him, probably in an, in an APC. If we launch mechs now, we may be able to catch up to it. We shouldn't launch until we learned more about the, the Op 4. I want to know what we're dropping into. They're already moving him, Commander. We don't have time. I need you to assemble three of your best mech warriors. I'll be joining them in the Atlas. We recovered from Castle Nautilus. Time is of the essence. We must retrieve the evidence, and we will bring Lord Madeira home. So we're going to get an Atlas for this mission, which is quite nice. Um, I'm questioning whether or not the King Crab is actually viable for this mission. I feel like maybe we... I don't know. Got the Battlemaster. The Battlemaster is good. Highlander is good. I, I given a choice, it would be either the Highlander or the Battlemaster. I'll I'll just go with this. Glitch still has high uh, um, high morale, which is good. Mandrake, we can swap. Mm. We can swap out Mandrake. I don't know what the point would be, to be honest. I guess Decker does have a slightly better um, stats. Honestly, I would take Medusa if I could. It's got that multi-hit, and I do like that multi-hit. All right, here we go. Okay. Kamea's in an atlas, so she's a little bit less of a liability now. How are we looking, Darius? Bad news, APC holding Lord Madeira has already reached the facility ahead. Whatever we're going to do, we need to do it fast. Our arrival won't stay a secret for long. I need Alexander by my side if we're going to beat my uncle and win this war. Cut him out of that facility, Commander. We will get that data after he's recovered. Uh, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna sprint right in there. Got it. Don't need to tell me twice. We got a galleon. Is that? Is that all it's got? One medium laser? That doesn't seem... Really? It's also almost like it's it's got like no armor. Good to go. Oh, here we go. We got some good music this time. I think. Unless it it's kind of sounds the same, to be honest. We're just gonna hit this thing with a gauze. Taking the shot. Reporting. What is that? A dragon. Oh, okay. Losing armor. We can hit that thing pretty hard. I would like to hit the turret as well. It doesn't have very much armor, so it shouldn't be. A big deal. Um, let's just... Let's see here. One large laser should be enough to hit... To, to kill that turret. Yeah. Targets. 
some decent hits. What can I do for you? Uh, Dragon's actually already almost dead. You, so oh, yeah. one lobby of uh, auto cannon. Honestly, I don't. I don't even think I need to hit it that hard. Maybe one shot with the UAC would be enough. Roger that. Firing on target. Hmm. Maybe it was a little bit conservative. Oops. It's fine. Kamea can get the kill. I know she loves to, you know, be the be the pro tag. She's got ext two extended range, uh, ex long, uh, large razor. Good lord, words are hard. Extended range, large lasers. I'm on it. Is that seriously not enough? I guess she didn't hit it in the torso. I shouldn't have been so conservative. Bummer. Now I have to. We have to I'm deal with the dragon fire. some more. For not really much good reason. That's my bad. Waiting on you, Commander. Okay. Um. Let's try two two uh, ten cannons. Uh -huh. There we go. Okay, I should be able to kill a few things here. Starting with a galleon. Then we move on to that turret. And then that other turret. So the galleon should only take a large laser. Then we move on to... Let's just do like this. Yep. That was a good call. That was also a good call. Awesome. Nice. Defenders are eliminated. Now secure that base so we can extract Alexander. Standing by. Full speed. No target. Standing by. I'll do what you ask. Okay. Putting uh, Alexander in the crab wouldn't be a terrible idea. Do we need to put everyone in there? Okay, never mind. Just kind of hoping that we'd only have to like, you know, how it's, it's historically it's worked like whoever we put in first is going to be the one that takes the escort. Well done, Commander. Farrah, do you have a fix on Lord Madeira's exact location? Working on it, Darius. I just need a minute to... You won't find your lapdog in that facility, however long you search, cousin. Little Alex kneels at my feet as we speak. Get out of here, Kamea. She's using me as bait. It's true, Kamea. Alexander was excellent bait, and now this war comes to an end. New sensor contacts. I've got hostile units converging on your location. I mean, if you've just sent a lance to kill Kamea... When I send you to hell, be sure to tell Lord Carosas that. So what are we fighting? Well, that kind of sucks on the Highlander. Hunchback. Barely hit, Commander. Yeah, not not a big deal yet. I'm not sure why I'm afraid. We're not gonna use the auto cannons if that thing's got evasion. I'm instead just gonna whip the the crab at it. Somehow we have really good accuracy with uh, the crab's weaponry. We do, I think these large lasers have plus two accuracy, so it makes sense. So hitting it and also reducing it, it's, a, it's evasion is it's just a really nice play. Ready for orders. Moving to position. Let's do a precision. See, okay, we can we can hit it in the torso. I think we can take it out this round. Yeah, we can we can definitely take it out right here. I don't think we need to hit it with everything. This is good enough. Tell me what to do, 
Cool. And stay down. Oh no, SRM carrier. Oh god. Um, I guess we can only hit it with the LR, uh, LRM 20. Good Lord. Okay. I'm on it. I mean, it's an LRM 20, so we should be able to hit it with that. Or kill it, I should say. Nope. What a bummer. I really hope that thing doesn't move first. We've got a panther. Where is that thing attacking us from? Wow. Okay. Highlander is taking some really nasty damage. We need to swap its this formation. Waiting for orders. Um, yeah, let's swap this around and uh, try and kill that carrier. Okay, that's one thing we don't have to worry about. Vehicle trashed. Um, oh, can't quite see both things. What about here? Mm, wow. Here? Yes. Okay, um, don't necessarily, like, we, we are not doing great for, I just like to keep my options open. Um, let's try and hit that guy over there. Um, take off this large laser and that one. And this should be good. Let's go for a leg shot. Actually, this guy's got... He doesn't have a lot, really. We'll just try and hit that shoulder. I think the shoulder is probably going to have what we want. SRM ammo. Actually, no. Let's try and hit the other shoulder. Probably that's where the PPC is. Okay, that works for me. Okay, I'm gonna try and be very... I, I want to kill this trebuchet. I know that's a lot for just this mech, but I think we can do it. Now we have the accuracy, we should be able to hit something. Or at least knock it over, maybe? Nah. Maybe we could go for headshot. I think we have to stand the best chance of killing it right now if we go for the head. All are go. Now, shucks. Reading loud and clear. Well, we can hit it pretty hard with the Atlas. I'll make it happen. There we go. Not bad. People. Just all right. As long as it's not the Highlander taking damage, I'm cool with anything else. I'm cool with the Atlas taking damage. That's fine. Although the only thing I'm worried about the Highlander, or sorry, the Atlas, is um I didn't assign its armor, which probably means the armor is not very well distributed. Okay, we're just gonna do uh, LRMs here, and I'm gonna lob them at the. Uh, the panther. Receiving you. I copy. Should be weak enough. We can just kill it. Confirm. Yeah, the gauze was enough. I wish I could like One left rely on the gauze to be enough every time, but I I can't, unfortunately. Okay, again, we could go for the head. I feel like it's just better if we go for the center torso in general. Take off the UAC to recover the recoil. Got it. Nice. That was enough to kill it. Directorate must have learned about Lord Madeira's subdermal, subdermal transponder and cloned the signal. Keep fighting down there. Samira and I are working to get, to get a fix on his actual location. Work quickly, Dr. Murad. This could be our only chance at finding him. 
love of these games, Kamea. Do you want to win little Alex back? Come and find me. We'll be waiting for you. Won't we, Lord Madeira? <laughs> I'm sorry, Kamea. I evaded capture for as long as I could, but... That sound you just heard was his jaw, Kamea. It was every bit as fragile as I thought it would be. Consider this a promise kept from our first reunion. I'm coming for you, Victoria. Do you hear me? Communication terminated. Dramatic. Super dramatic. Atlas is gonna take eight damage. Nothing to fret about. Honestly, just gonna sprint forward. Cause we need uh, we need that heat back. That way we gain some uh, evasion. We could sprint forward with a bunch of people actually. Maybe not the Highlander. We'll put him behind this rock for now. Waiting for orders. Give everyone evasion. Tell me what you need. What is that? Fire starter? They have a lot of evasion. I'm not even going to bother with the uh, precision shot here. I will take a shot on it, though. Maybe not with the SRM. Maybe, yeah, not... We won't spend ammo on this. I guess it would have been better if I had just, like, sensor locked it. If I'm going to shoot it with stuff that's not going to do very much damage and that we don't think is actually going to hit. Got a lot of fire starter mechs here. Got a, our first, like, actual heavy mech. Okay, crab should be able to take something out. Sure, why not? Cool. If it's like the last bit of damage is is what kills it, that tells me that it was a, a good call. Not sure. I guess it's the um, it's the uh, evasion that's making it so hard to hit. But that's okay. We'll do a precision shot just to mitigate that somewhat. Knocked it down. This is good. Can probably take it out with the uh, annihilator. Good to go. Got it. And I'm just gonna hit it with the UAC. Here we go. Good. Really Let trying to like go. conserve our ammo. Because I don't know how long this battle is going to go for. And so I think it's just a good idea in general to uh, be a little bit conservative when I can. Now that I've gotten a, a good kind of read on some of this weaponry, I have a better idea of how much it takes to kill something. All weapons locked on and firing. I should have done a precision, precision shot there. I basically should almost always do a precision shot. We get enough morale that it's it's almost always doable. Lady Urano, I've got a fix on Lord Madeira's transponder signal. He's being moved. It looks like they're taking him to the most heavily reinforced directorate stronghold on Gold Goldra. Miss Mayor, I need you to pick us up in the Leopard. It's the only way we can reach him before it's too late. That's a negative, Lady Urano. I'm reading dozens of anti-aircraft guns and missile turrets around that stronghold. If I tried to fly you in, they'd blow me out of the sky. Damn it, what are our options? If you take off at a dead sprint, you might be able to catch them. It'll be pretty dicey, though. I'm seeing a lot of mechs between you and Lord Madeira, and we'll have no time to retrieve the evidence that he gathered. The evidence can wait. We have to... Damn it. That intel is vital to our war effort, and it's nearly in our grasp. I can't risk the future of the Reach for one man. Mr. Oliviera, I need you to give me the coordinates of Lord Madeira's dead drop. Forgive me, Alexander, but your rescue will have to wait. 
I'm marking the coordinates on your map now. Commander, we show multiple dropships inbound as soon as you have the data, get out of there. Every fiber of my being is screaming at me to not abandon Lord Madeira. To drop everything and rescue him, as I know he'd rescue me. In leaving him, I betray myself. So we've got a Kentaro versus uh, it's, it's Kamea's old mech. Can I do a melee hit on this guy? Yes, I can. Let's go ahead and do that. Wow. I thought maybe that killed him, but it knocks something off at the very least. Okay, we should be able to take out uh, maybe not in one turn, but well, the Kentaro is already pretty damaged. Some nice damage. Reporting critical hit. Waiting for orders. Um, I guess this is the best option here. Moving to position. We're running out of ammo. I guess, uh, like it doesn't. All of these use AC-10. I should probably put some more AC ammo on here. So we're just going to hit them with AC-5 and 2. Standing by. Should be able to take it out with the Atlas. We are going to overheat, so... Okay, taking off one laser is enough to mitigate. Affirmative. Nice. I didn't need to hit it with everything there. The directorate must fall. Yeah, I figured the little what is this fire starter it was going to try and do a melee hit. Oh shoot, the flame damage is actually a problem. I'm shutting down. Oof. Yeah, actually kind of a problem. Commander. Like, we're almost done this mission. It's fine. But she was already pretty close to overheating, so taking heat damage is actually not great. Let's just, uh... Yeah, I mean... It's mostly energy weaponry, so I don't have to worry too much. Enemy mech uh, complete the data download in time. Nine rounds. Oh, we should be moving. Commander? Didn't realize that. Yes, I hear you. Yeah, we got to restart the Atlas. That's the last inbound hostile dropship from the landing force. We have the window we need to evac. Destroying my cousin's landing force would show her the cost of her treachery, and I am willing to pay. However, getting that, uh, getting and recovering that data is still a priority. Not bad, cousin, but I am not finished with you yet. I'm gonna make a break for it. Yes, Commander. The Alice is actually exposed and not doing super great, so we'll have to keep it in the back. I assume if Lady Urano dies, the game just ends. Well, the game doesn't end. The, I have to reload the mission, basically. Copy that. Accelerating. Oh, Annihilator in the front, I guess. Um, pretty sure I could jump up there with a crab. I don't have too many mechs that can jump. Waiting for orders. Uh, but the Highlander is one of them. Roger that. So we'll see what gets there first. Waiting for orders. 
we'll see what's uh what's over here probably not a great idea but you know it was probably gonna hit us anyway oh okay yeah that was a very bad idea Ugh. we we didn't have to take that damage at all but the good news is we can um hit that black knight Should be able to hit it with everything. I guess only the extended range and the long range missiles. Uh, this thing's got a lot of firepower. Um, kind of no matter where I hit, it's going to be good. So let's try and hit it in that right torso. Copy that. Uh, it was not great. Okay, that's the problem. Let's see um, if we can get we can sprint up this hill. We actually don't even need to do a jump. Going full throttle. I'm pretty sure the Highlander will make it there first. Let's uh, try and do some more damage to the Black Knight. Just the LRM 15s, unfortunately. Maybe I can do some pretty good damage with the uh, auto cannons. I think this is a worthwhile expense of the rest of our ammo here. So we did knock off like half of its weaponry, which is really good. We can still hit it. Um, and yeah, we may as well do a precise shot. Yeah, we took it out. Nice. So that was like the hardest hitting thing on the map right now. It's not that the other ones, you know, actually that LRM vehicle there kind of sucks, but it can't see us right now, fortunately. So we're good. Uh, can't quite make it to, uh, there. So we may as well not move yet. He's got LRM, so we can try and get to something and then hit it with the, uh, Highlander. All right. Um... Yeah, so we can't get... We can't quite get to this spot, so we may as well do... Just a basic move and then take a shot at whatever we can take a shot on. Oh, but we're gonna we're running out of ammo on the Highlander. LRM carrier, we should just have to do an LRM 15, not 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 20. Oh never mind. I'm not sure why I thought that. <laughs> Commander? Well, um, We have a pretty good shot here. We are kind of running out of ammo. I'm not going to use the AC 10s. Uh, just, you know, just to conserve some ammo. Amazing how we can shoot through the ground like that. Glitch really is an incredible pilot and, you know, trained as she is. All right. So we've got a couple of heavy techs. No, not not never mind. A commando. They'll do they'll do some damage, but it's it's nothing nothing to scream about. We'll get on that um point in the next round. Ensure Kamea survives with one unit for three rounds. Okay, well we'll get on it. Uh we'll do a shot. We're receiving the data now, Lady Arano. Uh, Commander, I'm going to have to ask you to keep one of your mechs near that relay until the upload is finished. Shouldn't be a problem. Um, I mean, I guess we can do a pretty good hit on this gen. Mm, I mean, eh, ugh, ugh. All right. Copy that. You missed. You missed with the gauze, my dude. 
cannot afford to miss with that gun. The thing is expensive to fire in the first place. We'll just do some basic hits. Nothing special here. And then uh, hit it with everything with the crab. Cool. Pretty sure the LRM is what killed it. So we just have one thing left and it's Kamea and uh, she's got a pretty good line of sight on this commando. May as well use a pre precision if we can. Um, let's just go for that right torso. Oh wow. Instantly destroyed. Cool. So that's pretty much everything dead. Uh, there's nothing left, so we may as well reserve. And done. Holding here. Is there... I don't think there's anything left. I don't think that we're supposed to be able to kill everything. I think that uh, we, I've like over prepped for these missions. Transmission completed, Lady Arena. We have the package in hand and Samira is on the on her way. All targets eliminated, sit tight. We're good. What is this cousin? You're running? Leaving Lord Madeira behind? I thought you were, you would do anything for each other. I will take him back from you, Victoria, personally. I look forward to it, Kamea. In the interim, know that your dearest friend will languish as I languished in Lord Carosa's dungeons. I will make him suffer in your stead. I know what I'm abandoning him to, Victoria, as does he. Alexander is more courageous than either of us, and if you hurt him, I will kill you myself. I swear that on my father's name. Done. We'll, uh, we'll finish off the little bit of story that we'll have here. Maybe a lot of story. There might even be a cutscene. And, um, see what, uh, what we get. Maybe spend some XP, um, and then make our way to the next mission, whatever that is. We got, almost got 3 million credits. That's quite a nice payday. Took a little bit of damage on the Atlas, but that's about it. And I don't have to repair that. <laughs> So that's that's good. The Highlander almost got exposed. But I'm good. Um I mean I could take the Black Knight part, but I don't think I really want that. If there's anything else. Okay, we got an LRM 20 plus. We've a lot of a lot of medium lasers there. Um ba -ba 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 -ba. medium laser plus plus plus. I'm just putting it on there for now. We got a small laser plus plus plus. That's not bad. Arm mods, huh? Heat sink, heat sink, heat sink, heat sink, heat sink, jump jet, jump jet, jump jet. Nothing. Really is like nothing else. Okay. Um I think that the Black Knight is probably the best the best take here. I don't know if we got anything. We didn't get the support laser. We did get the arm mod, though. I suppose at a certain point, I could just, like, start selling off pieces or components that we don't need. I still kind of want to make a little zippy mech with a coil M and then also, like, arm and leg mod so I can just go around and punch shit and, and then uh, fire a death laser beam. That'd be a lot of fun. Oof. I mean, you can't say we didn't see it coming, but at least it wasn't due to some, you know, bullshit. Like, someone does something dumb and gets themselves captured. Um, Lord Madeira did exactly what they had to do, and no one else could do it. And did everything they could to not get captured. And I honestly do agree with the decision to, like, you know, go for the intel over Madeira. And I even like Madeira, so, like, you know... 
or Alexander, I should say. I, I like Alexander, and I don't, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say they're not worth it, but um, certainly they're not worth it over sacrificing the war. So I don't know. It's, a, it's an interesting uh, conflict, and I appreciate the dilemma of it. Dr. Moret, have you gotten that archive cracked open? I want to know what's inside, and I want to know it now. Yes, Lady Areno, I just finished cracking the encryption. There's a lot here. Ledgers, spreadsheets, cost analysis, and a single hollow file. I recognize the coding on that file. My father authorized his archivists in House Madeira to install a hollow recording system in Arano Palace before his death. It was meant to preserve an ongoing record of important diplomatic events. The system must still be active, and Alexander's family had access to it. There'd better be something good on that recording. Only one way to find out. Hang on a second. I'll cue it up on the view screen. Okay, here it goes. I understand your hesitancy, daughter. It's a difficult thing, what I'm asking you to do. But this galaxy is a hard and uncaring place. If our directorate is to thrive, we must be even harder. I have no qualms about killing for the greater glory of the directorate, father, but this... Please help me understand. Show me the wisdom in carrying out this attack, because I cannot see it myself. Broaden your perspective, Victoria. Think before the... Think beyond the reach, beyond the periphery. Our directorate is growing stronger, but we stand among giants. To the successor states, we are nothing. A tin pot directorate, a dictatorship in a galactic backwater. To be ignored or crushed as they please. If we are to survive in the long term, we need a strong ally. But we have nothing to offer in return. We cannot change our circumstances. The reach is comparatively small and poor, and that is how it will remain. What we can do is shift the political balance of the periphery by engineering conflict. We can give ourselves value as a buffer state and an ally of convenience. And by doing this to perdition, you will create the conflict you seek. Yes, your target is a port city that serves as the primary supplier of perdition's aerospace bases. A chemical strike there will look like a backdoor attempt to undermine Caldaron's military readiness. He'll assume that the method of attack was chosen for the purpose of plausible deniability. And when he points his finger at House Davian in response, I will quietly approach him with an offer of support. And if this embroils us in a war with the Federated Sons? It won't. Calderon will not strike without proof. And despite his fears of to the contrary, the periphery is beneath House Davian's notice. Uh, sorry, Hans Davian's notice. He'll, we'll be the Concordat's silent partners in a cold war that never goes hot, and the Reach will grow stronger than it ever could on its own. And if our target fails, if I'm caught, then our directorate will perish, and us alongside it. But inaction isn't an option, Victoria, and an alliance built on a lie is better than no alliance at all, and our directorate cannot survive indefinitely in a vacuum. I cannot trust a task this sensitive to any mercenary. It has to be someone who truly loves the Reach, and who understands the price of failure. I don't enjoy ordering you to do this, but I am trying to accomplish in five years what House Arano should have done across a span of three lifetimes. To safeguard the Reach on such a short timetable, risks must be taken, and sacrifices have to be made. Show me that you are the defender of the realm that I know you to be and accept this terrible responsibility, not for me, but for our pe people and for the Reach. I understand, Father, and I'll do what you ask. For the glory of the Reach. Gods, it doesn't even matter what else is in the Archive. With this, we could turn the Tarians against the Directorate. Protector Calderon will want Espinosa's head on a pike. Then let's go ahead and serve it to him. I must admit, there's a certain poetry in that idea. I'm making, marking the evidence with my personal seal and sending it to the Torian government. When they respond, we'll find out whether all of, his, all of this was worth it, but in the meantime, we need to focus on getting Lord Madeira back. You're going to have to bargain for him. That's your best chance of getting him back alive. Uh, that's assuming he's still alive. He'll be on the throne world. Wouldn't make sense for him, them to take him anyplace else. Agreed, but if we move on Karmadir directly, the Directorate's naval fleet will attack our flank from their base on Tir Tirlun. If, on the other hand, we attack and liberate House Perita, 
There will be nothing my uncle can do to prevent us from invading Coromadir. I'll have him by the throat. I'll take you... I'll take my leave of you now. I have allies to rally and an army to marshal. The restoration will summon you when our forces have been assembled for the assault. And we'll keep doing our thing until we receive your summons. Back to work, people. If we're going to stage an assault on Tirlin, then we're going to need all the firepower we can muster. You know what that means, so let's get to it. Okay, so what that means for us is um, the next couple of episodes are... Or sorry, the next episode. I'm pretty sure it's only two missions before we get the next contract. Um, is going to be um, a couple of mercenary missions, nothing too spicy. We're very close to maxing out piloting for Big Simple, so they're almost the perfect pilot, basically. Decker has... Uh, is getting up there. Glitch is getting pretty up there as well. One hit defense, three melee defense, plus 20% base melee hit, plus 20% max sprint. Oh, piloting, I guess, is very good for sprinting. Yes, Commander. Uh, and Medusa didn't come because we only took three on that mission. <clears throat> okay, um, I don't think I need to do any repairs. So I guess we're just going to take some contracts. I might have a quick look at contracts, but okay. It's just some basic stuff. I don't want to take, I don't want to do a random restoration missions. I'm not a huge fan. Um, so we might have a look at the star map. I might want to do some missions for the Federated Suns if I can, because I kind of like their deal. I feel like they would have some cool mechs. Maybe I'm wrong about that. This is the Federated Suns are here. Um, I don't want to... What is that? The Comstar. If I can... Okay, yeah, here we go. Perfect. It's challenge four, so it might suck. Uh, let's try and find one that's similar. I want to find one where the Capellan are not active, and that way we... Oh, yeah, this is great. This way we're only losing reputation that we want to lose. I, I don't really want to lose any, but... And we also have Arctic Worlds. This is like the perfect place for us to go and do some mercenary missions. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. It was a long one, but there was a lot of story involved. So <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed it. If you are enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.